I'm gonna hang out here on the on the counter for a minute. Hey everyone, welcome to the second time I've taken the GoPro into my hands. It's a little encouraging because I didn't know how it was gonna go videoing like my portion of life because my portion of life is a little different than you see from Brandon's side of the GoPro. Oftentimes he gets to be more fun while I am sometimes doing a little bit more of the household stuff, which I'm grateful that he gets to enjoy those kind of things. Today the kids are home from school and doing homework, getting snacks, Reading Ryler's favorite book. Which favorite book, buddy? Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Diary of a Kid. He just finished it, uh, but his new one won't be here till tomorrow. Kruby is reading the best book ever. I love you, Mommy. We've had kind of a rough day with Sweet Brex. He's all morning been complaining that his stomach hurts, and he's just been laying like this all day. Having a kind of rough day, huh, buddy? So he's just cozy in a blanket. Anyway, I hope you guys will enjoy some of the stuff that I get to do on a daily basis. Um, sometimes it's not exciting. Sometimes it involves, I don't know, folding like six or seven loads of laundry and doing dishes, sometimes grocery shopping. Sometimes the daily grind isn't as fun, but there are also times that I like to get the kids out and we like to do some fun stuff. So it will be kind of fun to document my portion of life because Brandon's usually the one with the GoPro. What should I say? Um, you should say blah, blah, blah. Hey Z, what are you doing? Can you say hi? Hi. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Can you say love you? Huh? Say love you. What? Say no. Thank you. Can you say bye? Thank you. Bye. She said. Good job, buddy. So some of what has changed a little bit is um, since Brandon's gone, we used to tag team running errands, doing things for the kids, having four kids sometimes there's a lot of errands that need to be going on. Thursdays are especially busy for us. Ryler has basketball practice right after school and a basketball game on most days. It's a little tricky getting now, it's like thinking through my brain, I've got to get home, do homework, run to basketball, come home, get dinner, go pick him up, and then the game tonight. So at least dad's home to go to the game with us tonight. The task at hand this afternoon, the kids are playing. Brexton's hanging out with me on dad's side of the bed, just chilling, huh? Um, this is my task at hand this afternoon, is I'm going to fold all this laundry. Yep. I'd like to say that I wash it, and dry it and fold it and put away, but that doesn't always happen. So some days it's at least washed, it's just not folded and put away. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Anyway, happy laundry folding. Alright, so we're out doing some dongle shopping. <laughs> Nothing like a good dongle. Uh, that new MacBook Pro I got, super slick, super sexy. It's all USB-C. What that means basically is that nothing comes standard with that yet, but Apple, once again, trying to push things forward, only has USB-C imports there, or inputs, ports, whatever. And so you have to get a little dongle for everything right now. So in order for me to import media, attach a external hard drive, pretty much anything, I need a little dongle for it until everybody else catches up. So picking up a couple of those right now. And yeah, I might go back and throw some people in the dunk tank. Just another day at the office. P.S. Super Bowl coming up tomorrow. No, just kidding. On Sunday, I'm, I've got an admission here, and I, I know all the fellows. You guys are gonna be pretty upset at me, a little bit let down. Until they had the tailgate party at work today, I totally forgot that was even this weekend. I was like, oh, cool, like tailgate party. What big game is coming up? Uh, the Super Bowl. So definitely need to throw together some last-minute party plans 
for that one. So I got these new pants. They're tight, but they're like this stretchy material. When you are a man, sometimes you wear stretchy pants. So, so it's super weird because I've never had stretchy tight pants. They're tighter, so you think they'd be way uncomfortable. But as I move, they move with me. Like my phone is so tight in my pocket, but it just stretches out around it. And I hate to admit it, but they're more comfortable than sweatpants. It's the most comfortable pair of pants I've ever worn. So yes, I am into stretchy pants. <laughs> So today's agenda, I've been doing nails like crazy all morning and I have to go get the kids here soon, but I thought, it's actually not that cold. I walked outside and I thought it felt pretty comfortable. So I thought, I think I'm gonna clean out the garage because you know, that's what everyone does, especially when they're wearing white jeans. Let's clean out the garage. I'm out here just sweeping um, and my parents got this really great, um, it's like a janitor's bucket and mop. But my dad has always used one of those in his garage to keep the garage like really clean and we brought in all the, the muddy salt and all of that stuff, so I just want, kind of wanted to clean it off. I'm just trying to get as much done as I can before I go get the kids. Ryler is starting a robotic STEM program after school on Fridays, so he's gonna be busy doing that. So I gotta go get crew, wait, find something to do for an hour, and then I'll go get Ryler. But in the meantime, I have 30 minutes before I have to go get him, so I'm gonna try and clean the scratch. Hopefully it looks a little better after this. was just not enough time for as much cleaning as the garage required. So we are off to get the kids from school and I'm gonna have to continue that when I get home. We still have little Brex in today that's not feeling super great. Has a really bad cough, he won't stop coughing. I tried to take a nap. Kind of having a lazy day at home. Mom's been doing some nails. The one thing that remains constant is that we still miss dad. It's like kind of sad. Brexton will sometimes be like, mom, I'm gonna go in the basement and watch a movie with dad, okay? I'm like, sweetheart, dad's at work. So sometimes they still forget that dad is at work and we are at home and he's not gonna be home until quite later in the evening. This is his first Friday at his new job. We miss him a ton. It's, it's definitely just a different vibe around the house. I find myself doing a lot more projects because I guess I'm just trying to pass time or something. I don't know. And I, I normally would keep these things that he does. I guess you could say these projects. Typically I used to do those kind of things on Saturdays, but every other Saturday I'm working. I don't want to take the one Saturday we do get every other week doing projects around the house. We want to have fun. So I'm trying to get these projects done instead of working on them on Saturday. Next, after I get home, after I do the garage, I'm going to install all the new lights that we just got. We just got new LED daylight lights throughout the house. We've changed a couple of them. You guys have seen a few of them. I just found an incredible deal at Costco. Plus Rocky Mountain Power is doing a rebate on them. So it makes them an incredible deal. So if you're thinking about doing the daylight lights in your home, now is the time to do it because they're actually not very expensive. So I'll be doing that when I get home. Yeah. Trying to find the time, you know, pass the time till Brandon gets there, so. Hey guys, um, so, um, we're cleaning out the garage right now. I'm just dribbling a basketball. We might, I don't know, do some fun things today. I'm kinda sick, so, yeah, and um, we might not be able to play with our friends because um, it's really cold and windy. Here finishing up the last little bit of this thing. It is incredibly hard to clean up because I feel like I'm just moving dirty water around. It's just like a pool of dirt. At that point, I'm just gonna move on to the next portion because I'm just moving dirt around. Hi, bud. Okay, so I finished the garage. And it actually looks pretty good. You can see over here, there's still like this dirt, but it's just really hard to move the water bucket over the snow, over to the water spigot. It was just too much work for today. So I did the best I could. I got up most of the dirt. And now that makes it that much less for spring. Super glad that task is done. Whew. Now in here, Hazy, what are you doing? Can you show me how? Is that how to do it? What are you recording? What are you gonna video? Oh yeah, boom, show us the boom, yeah, good job. 
So now we're inside. We have a little bit of time before we have to go get Rye Guys. So I might start on these lights. <laughs> So one of the things I learned, don't wear white pants while you clean the garage, especially when you're dealing with a bunch of like muddy, wet water. I got some pretty good stains on here. This leg, I've got it all up. Hopefully the stains will come out. If not, I guess they're white and I can bleach them. But I didn't wake up planning to clean the garage today. That was kind of a random sporadic, makes you feel good type of moment. So anyways, note to self, don't wear white pants. No. Maybe it's don't clean the garage. Sometimes I clean too much. I think it might be something that might get on Brandon's nerves as I'm always picking up. I'll pick up the same room like 10 times in a whole day. So but it makes me feel good. So if it makes me feel good then, but see also when I came inside, I stepped on my new favorite rug and I got it dirty. I got footprints all over it. So now do you see what happened? Now I have to clean that. Just cleaned out the, what is it called, garage. I might want to do a mo little monster truck video because look at all of these. I love um, playing with cars, monster trucks, stuff like that. And I found my two favorite. The one I just like barely got two days ago. I'll show you them. This one I got a really long time ago, I remember. This one I just barely got, I think like two days ago. Pretty sick, I don't know. This is my brother's GoPro, I stole it. Right guy, how was it? Good. Good? Yeah. I wanna hear better than good. I made a windmill, I made this little gear thing that actually turned. Right guy just finished his robotics class. After school he's doing it with a couple of friends and he had a great time. Tonight for dinner we are having Little Caesars pizza kits. I had a friend that was doing a fundraiser. I bought a three different kits. One was the Italian cheese bread, the crazy bread, the deep dish pizza kits. It comes with everything you need to make them. This is the crazy bread, deep dish pizza. So you put it in this little container and you spread the sauce and the cheese and everything around. And she said they taste a lot like Little Caesars, which a lot of people don't like Little Caesars, but I happen to love their pizza. So it will be fun for the kids to do. I think that it's going to be yummy. I feel like when I was a teenager and stuff, Friday nights were always pizza night, so I think we're gonna try to continue that trend. Here's to Friday night pizza night. What have you been waiting for? Yes! Amazon delivers! Yes! Okay, let's open that baby. Go. Muscles into it. Oh yeah. yeah! What is it? The Nickelodeon six time. My guy, I'm so excited! Least he's reading, folks. Yeah, reading is key. Yeah. One thing I've been working on lately as a parent and as a mom, saying yes. Which I know is kind of funny, but I kind of want to like instill this, this yes life 
in our kids and in us as parents. The more you say yes, I feel like the better things go. If you say yes to serving others, if you say yes to doing anything, I feel like it makes things go a little bit easier. So Brex in today, I was trying to find something for them to do because we're not feeling 100% in our house and I feel like we probably shouldn't play with friends at their houses. I said, you know, why don't you guys play with Play-Doh? We have more Play-Doh toys than I think Toys R Us does. This is only a fraction of the Play-Doh that we've got. And here's this. He's making toast and pancakes and strawberries. I mean, if you'll notice, we've got pieces all over the floor. And that's usually why I've always said no to playing with Play-Doh because it makes such a mess. But I'm trying to learn to say yes more often. But I found the more that I say yes, the happier I am. I've thought about doing this with my kids is the more they say yes, Hey, Raga, will you go clean your room? Yes. I'm more likely to give privileges. Raga, will you help take out the trash for me? Yeah, mom, sure, no big deal. I just feel like saying yes has been something that has been sometimes a struggle for me. My kids will ask to do something and I'll be like, no, not right now. Well, how come? Uh, I don't really have an excuse why. Just no, because maybe I don't want to deal with the mess or I don't want to deal with... Anyways, I don't even know why, but I'm trying to say yes more. My saying yes today was to the Play-Doh mess. Hopefully when I ask them to clean it up, they'll say yes. <laughs> Are you gonna say yes when I ask you to clean it up? Mm, no. You might be wondering why I'm getting up here so close to the light. Now I probably shouldn't be doing this with the power on, but um, I wanted to change these light bulbs and I wanted to show you the difference. I mean, you, you kind of could see that was a little yellowy. Grabbing the new light bulbs, little bit wider look. Should we do the same way? What do you think down there, Hazy? All right, I'm gonna change. I have one, two, three, four, five, 11 more to change. And then I'll show you guys the look. Here is probably kind of hard to tell. This one right here has the wider light and the other ones have the yellower light. So I'm gonna hang out here on the, on the counter for a minute. Just finished putting all the new lights in. I feel like it looks way brighter. What do you guys think? Do you feel like it looks brighter? Do you feel like it looks brighter? No! I think his new life motto is saying no. <laughs> here's this room, okay, here's this room. There's that room. Do you see the difference? This room, that room. You can like see our amazing gray paint. It like really pulls out like the true color of it. Here they are. They actually look like really good, that cheese crusted on the side there the crazy bread it comes with like the sauce packet and the cheese so this one you place directly on the oven directly on to the oven found these cute little trolls cookies the other day they were too adorable not to buy so we are gonna do oh my goodness okay i'm sorry these are just too cute Ryder, did you want to help with this brexy you want to help okay you have to wash your hands Oh my gosh. Grab it by its hair and put it right there. Should we name them as we take them out? What should their names be? Charlie, Carla. But what, what do you, do we have to do the blues too? Yeah, do a cute blue. This is Brexton's job. He asked if he could help. So you're gonna dip it in here and paint on the breadsticks. You get to paint on them. Great job. Cute little trolls. Let's check to see if dad can get trolls on his way home from work. We kind of want to watch trolls and have a movie night. How are you liking the pizza? Are you going to have another piece? Crew, love it? Whoa, those are huge. Yeah. <laughs> Do white eyes, Zoe. What you got there? Sprinkles. <laughs> you good? First thing you're going to have with? First and then. Ow! 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 You're hurting me! You're. Oh, I'm dying! Oh boy. Oh. Oh, hi, Brexton. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Please. Oh, owie, owie. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Did you eat one? Did you eat a troll? Do you want to go see daddy? Daddy's home. Let's go get daddy. Come on. Come on. This way. This way. Daddy, 
in your clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What are we doing tonight? Daddy, oh, Daddy, 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 Daddy,